Well, hey there. Let's walk through a cost of goods sold example, like a simple example together. Um, let's say that you are a company that sells shoes. Now, at the beginning of the year, you're going to do probably an inventory count or a stock take just to capture all of your different inventory, right? So at the beginning of the year, you do your inventory count and you find out you have $10,000 worth of shoes, which is great. You've got a, a baseline to start, right? And then throughout the year, you end up purchasing $30,000 worth of shoes to, to keep your, your shelves stocked and to keep going, right? Now, so far, you can tell that you have an investment made of $40,000 into your shoes, but that's not where we stop this equation. We continue by looking at the end of the year what does that inventory look like? And you're looking at $5,000 left of that inventory for your shoes, which that's amazing. That's half of what you started the year with. So you know that your investment, it was a, it paid off, right? But by how much? So we use the equation. We use the $10,000 uh, plus 30,000. So that's 40,000 minus how much we've ended with. And that actually leaves us with our cost of goods sold at $35,000. So it cost you $35,000 for all of the products that you put in front of consumers. I hope that clears things up for kind of a simplified cost of goods sold equation. Thanks.